Let's write a C program to generate Fibonacci series up to user enter limit. Well, Fibonacci series is a series of numbers where first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1 and each subsequent number is the sum of previous two. If you understand this, good. If not, I'll give you an example. The first two numbers are 0 and 1. So add 0 and 1, you will get 1. That is the next number. Now add the previous two numbers, that is 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1, you will get the next number, which is 2. Similarly, add the previous two numbers, that is 1 and 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So on. Add one more thing, that is 3 plus 2, you will get 5 and so on. So let's ask the user how many number of terms of Fibonacci series to be printed and print those many number of uh, numbers in the series. So I'll ask enter number of terms to be printed. printed so i'll store that limit inside address of integer variable limit now let me directly call a function by name fibonacci and i'll pass the value entered by the user that is limit so that's it inside main method now let me write the prototype for our function fibonacci so our function Fibonacci doesn't return anything. So its return type is void. So it will take an argument of type integer. So let me write int. So this is the prototype of function Fibonacci. Now let me define this function. So let me take a local variable num. So which has the copy of uh, limit okay it's a local variable for fibonacci so now let me take integer variables n1 is equal to 0 n2 is equal to 1 because we know that in fibonacci series first two numbers are 0 and 1 so let me print those two numbers because we know that in any fibonacci series the first two numbers are 0 and 1 so let me print that out which is present inside variables n1 and n2 now let me write the for loop using loop counter variable count. So I'll assign three to count because we have already printed two values in that list. So let me start from three and iterate through this for loop until count is less than or equal to num. And for each iteration of this for loop, uh, loop counter variable count increments by one. Now let me add the values of previous two numbers that is n1 plus n2 and store it inside n3 and print that number onto the console window. Now let me swap the values of n2 to n1 and the value of n3 to n2. That's it. This, this would print the Fibonacci series. Let me give 10. That would print 10 Fibonacci series. 10 numbers in the Fibonacci series. Okay. Let me even number these uh, Fibonacci series numbers. This is first number. This is second number. Here I'll do percentage %d, uh, the count is present inside variable count. So that's it, save it, compile and run the program. So I'll give 5, I'll print 5 numbers in the Fibonacci series, 0, 1, 1, 2 and 3, perfect. Let me give 10, that would print 10 numbers in the Fibonacci series and it's working great. Let me give 15 now. Let us print 15 numbers in the Fibonacci series and it's working. That's it. So this is how we print Fibonacci series numbers using functions. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends without fail and please like this video on YouTube. Thank you.